What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modern X. Banggood was nice enough to send me the Show Me Redmi Note 3 for review. We're gonna take a quick look at this phone today. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, we'll talk about the design of this device. Xiaomi has finally stepped up their game with a full metal build device. This is not actually a fully metal build. You actually have a strip of plastic on the top and bottom of the back, which actually lends to the grip of the phone. Speaking of grip, this is one of the grippiest metal built phones with those curved edges. Taking a look around the device up top, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and IR blaster. To the right side of the device, you have a very nice and tacky power button and volume volume rocker. On the bottom of the device, you have the USB 2.0 charge port and microphone. On the back of the device, you'll find a single speaker in that 13 megapixel rear facing camera. On the front of the device, you'll find a five megapixel camera, menu, home, and recent capacitive buttons. The design and build quality is more than you would expect from a phone in this price range. Moving along the display, you're looking at a 5.5 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. The pixel density is 403 pixels per inch. Now I have to say that this display does not get incredibly bright. You'll actually have a little bit of difficulty seeing it in sunlight thanks to the glare of the glass that is over the screen. Colors on the display are pretty accurate. They're not oversaturated. And when you're indoors, the display actually looks pretty good. Moving right along to performance and hardware, the Redmi Note 3 is rocking a MediaTek Helio X10 octa-core processor clocked at two gigahertz with a PowerVR G6200 GPU and three gigabytes of RAM. My device also included 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. Uh, remember that there is no micro SD card slot, so you'll wanna make sure that you go with the higher gigabyte variant. Performance on this device is pretty good. I didn't notice any lag or stutter when gaming. I also didn't notice any lag or stutter in day-to-day -day usage of the phone. The only time I noticed any lag whatsoever was in opening apps. Uh, once they were open, multitasking was a breeze on this device. And I do have to say that overall performance was pretty awesome. Continuing with the hardware of the phone, the rear facing speaker gets decently loud, but when it's at its loudest, you're gonna notice a little bit of distortion and a little bit of tinniness. The fingerprint scanner is super accurate and super fast. It is definitely on par with any other flagship that's out today, including the Nexus 6P. The phone is not available in the US, but it does include GSM support, so you'll be able to use it on carriers like T-Mobile and AT&T. The 4,000 milliamp hour battery will ensure that you'll get a full day's use out of this phone and then some. You'll also notice that it gets really incredible standby time. The Redmi Note 3 features a 13 megapixel 2.2 aperture camera, which takes some pretty decent shots. You won't have any issues with oversaturation in the pictures taken by this camera. In fact, the colors are a little dull, so instead of getting a nice vibrant red color, you'll get more of a pinkish red color, if that makes any sense. Outdoor images actually look pretty good. You're not gonna have any issues with overexposure. In fact, you may have some issues with underexposure in some circumstances. Indoor shots, you're gonna find a lot of grain and noise, but even with that grain and noise, the shots that I took inside were pretty usable. When it comes to software, the Redmi Note 3 is running my UI 7, which is based on Android 5.0.2 Lollipop. I actually enjoy my UI 7. It is the most iOS-like version of Android uh, that is available today. There's no app drawer. The app icons look iOS-y. Even things like the notification panel and the settings menus look more iOS-y than any other skin on Android. Other than that, my UI 7 on this device is nice and silky smooth and it looks pretty good. Overall, I have to say that the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 is a pretty great phone at the price point. For $150 to $200, you wouldn't expect the kind of build quality, display, and even camera that you're going to get out of this phone. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.